I'm Kelly Shea Lyden. First and foremost, I'm a mom of three. And I just started, I'm just starting a, a new startup based in Nantucket. And I've been involved with Code Purple since I first heard about it uh, right after Suzanne Wright passed away. Yeah, I'm Joe Shea. I am, uh, just recently got my uh, captain's license and I plan on delivering yachts and doing some boat brokering. My father was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in December of 2014 and we were lucky enough to catch it early enough that he did have the Whipple surgery and we had him for 19 months which was um, about 10 years too short a time. Bob Shea <laughs> broke, broke the mold. Um, the most incredible thing about him is that no matter where he went, no matter who he spoke to, he had such a genuine curiosity and interest in every single person that he met. Doesn't matter who you were, he would walk up to you and say, Nice shirt, where are you from? Bob Shea, tell me your story. And people are so disarmed by his genuine friendliness. He was just a wonderful, um, incredible person to, to grow up around. And, you know, he, cancer was just an absolute shock to us. That, you know, he took incredible great care of himself, exercised an hour a day, ate well, took, you know, powdered vitamins, and, and, and visited his doctors regularly. And, you know, he, he would <laughs> cut out articles in, in different magazines and send them to his doctors and say, please comment. <laughs> and, uh, and, and if they didn't, he'd hound them until they did. So through, throughout Dad's treatment, Dr. Schrag was talking about how important it was to do genetic testing, not just on Dad, but on all the members of the immediate family, to see if they could find a pattern and that would help not only our family, but all the families that have this propensity toward pancreatic cancer. Three years ago, my uncle died of pancreatic cancer, my father's brother, Father Joe, and we learned that two of their uncles had also died of pancreatic cancer. So we clearly have some sort of family thing going on with pancreatic cancer. From the Shea family perspective, this fight isn't over. When I heard about Code Purple, the one reason I decided to do something like this is just because someone who seems sounds like they have the same zest and stick to and, and things that my father had is spearheading this issue. And they're going to get a lot of momentum going in this direction. And that's just basically all we need. You know? My dad would say to us all the time, What are you doing? You're, you can't give up. You're, you're Shay. You're not a quitter. And that resonates in my mind every day. I think about everything that feels overwhelming about this battle and how easy it would be to just say, there are people smarter than me that have more medical experience that understand the disease more and they turn away from it. I'm not gonna do that because my dad wouldn't do that. Code, Code Purple, Purple. Demand, demand a new, a new approach. approach.